Hey everybody and welcome back to another Max Velocity weather forecast and in today's forecast we'll be breaking down a strange severe weather event that'll be taking place across parts of the United States today and tomorrow bringing the risk for some damaging winds maybe a little bit of isolated large hail and perhaps an isolated tornado or two. I'll give you the latest breakdown on everything that you need to know in this forecast but let's first begin with what's happening across the United States today and we'll first begin with parts of the Ohio Valley back through Michigan and there is currently a complex of storms going through areas like eastern Michigan as well as northern Ohio this is where we do have a risk for severe weather today and another risk tomorrow with all modes of severe weather being possible luckily it's on the lower side of things but this will be an interesting event I'll kind of show you why in just a moment but there are some showers and storms over there and this is all around a jet stream that is currently lifted up to the north and east because of a massive heat dome this heat dome is sitting in the central United States bring that relentless heat wave with heat indices as high as 115 to maybe even 125 today in parts of the United States, including Iowa, Kansas, even potentially Missouri and Oklahoma. Again, it's going to be another scorching hot day. And this is going to be really the worst of the summer is really right now. And after this, we should be going closer to fall with some cooler weather. But right now we have to get through this relentless heat wave that has really not moved at all over the last several days. Further down to the south and west, this is the remnants of what we just saw with Tropical Storm Herald. This is now inland going through parts of New Mexico with some rainfall there has been a flash flood watch or fl flood watch excuse me in effect for parts of western texas but this is no longer really a concern in terms of flooding but it will bring a few showers and maybe an isolated storm as it continues to weaken as it moves off to the north and northwest but otherwise the tropics are fairly quiet near home in the united states there is tropical storm franklin which is at the very bottom left right of your screen you really can't see it that is going to be moving off to the north it should stay away from the united states this is the current projected track it's not expected right now to make any impacts to the united states perhaps maybe if you're near north carolina there will at least be an increase of wave activity but overall there's nothing really too crazy out of tropical storm franklin for immediate impacts to the united states as of right now and across the map the national weather service has an extensive amount of excessive heat warnings this is a huge area one of the largest areas i've personally ever seen it extends anywhere from the gulf coast back through the upper midwest we have heat advisories in those orange shaded regions as well we have some red flag warnings still in effect for parts of eastern texas and northwest louisiana and that's really from the remnants of what we saw with Tropical Storm Herald. The winds and speeds did pick up a little bit from that. So there is an increased chance, at least, for maybe some wildfires today. So make sure you're doing your part in preventing wildfires. There are a lot of burn bans in effect for a lot of areas as well across Texas. Make sure you're not lighting any fires or anything like that today. And obviously for the next several days, as long as you're under that burn ban. Now for the temperatures today, this is a kind of a crazy thing. High temperatures for today, which is Wacky Weather Wednesday. We have high temperatures across a very large chunk of the United States, ranging from 95 to 100 and almost 10 degrees in some areas look at central oklahoma 108 degrees for a forecasted high temperature even chicago going to get close to 100 today so it's going to be extremely hot out there but it's going to be even warmer because of these dew points look how much humidity we have in the atmosphere dew points in the mid 70s for parts of the midwest and as well as back through the central plains this means our heat indices which is our feel like temperatures will be even warmer than our active temperatures look at this 110 112 degrees near the chicago area chicago forecasted heat index today 109 degrees it'll be very hot out there make sure you're limiting your outdoor time heat is the number one killer in terms of weather in the united states so you want to make sure you're limiting outdoor time make sure you're monitoring the signs of heat stroke and any heat illnesses because it again will be a very dangerous day to be outside today at least for elongated amounts of time now in terms of our weather pattern across the united states it's been very interesting obviously we've had the heat dome on going for a large amount of time here across the central plains and parts of the midwest and back through the southern plains gulf coast everybody's basically been feeling this heat wave the only exception would really be the northwest and the northeast united states the jet stream has been very favorable for those areas with some cooler weather but as of right now this heat dome is still sitting in a very large area now there is some good news if you're looking forward to a cool down so as we go throughout the next several days notice where this heat dome starts to go it's going to migrate further down to the south and west it's basically going to retreat away from the midwest this will allow for this jet stream to start to dip a bit more for those back over in the midwest there will be at least some relief in terms of maybe some showers and storms maybe an isolated severe weather risk but a cool down very well needed for those areas once we get closer to saturday into sunday notice this continues to retreat west look where the heat dome is by then that's where the core of this heat dome will be it'll be way back here jet stream will be back over here in the northeast there will be another trough development back over in parts of like the upper midwest and southern canada this will continue to allow for cool downs back over on the east coast and once we go later into the week you're going to monday tuesday wednesday of next week look at this big trough ejection come out of canada this will allow for another big cool down for the northeast unfortunately 
unfortunately, the heat zone is way down here, which is great news, but we're not really going to have any big dips in the jet stream as we go throughout the week. There will be some minor dips in the upper levels, which might allow for maybe an isolated, weak cold front or two, which could cool things down a little bit across the Great Plains. But overall, this heat dome is really not going to do us any favors. And the jet stream also is not really in a prime position for a massive extensive cool down in the United States right now. So unfortunately, we're not seeing that, but there will at least be some minor cool downs next week, whether those are weak cold fronts dropping the temperature by five degrees or something along those lines. That's at least what's expected for next week. Now, let's talk a little bit more about the severe weather threat for the next couple of days. This is a very interesting setup. Here's your low level jet. This one helps to rotate supercells at the lower levels. And notice the strong low level jet that's back over in parts of the Ohio Valley. This is a bit rare for this time of the year. But what we're looking at Wednesday into Thursday is we're going to be watching for some short wave ejection back over in parts of the Michigan and as well as the Ohio regions and back into Pennsylvania and New York. And this is where we're watching for the threat of maybe some isolated severe weather both today and tomorrow. This will also impact parts of the Midwest depending on how far south this goes and whether thunderstorm development actually happens. There will be some conditional risk to this, meaning some places might see severe weather, but they also might not, meaning there's a chance of it, but there's also a chance nothing happens. So I'm just going to kind of break that down for you in a second. But again, kind of interesting setup here. Strong low-level jet for both today and tomorrow. That'll increase the tornado risk at least to a low-end chance here across parts of the Ohio Valley. So as of right now, the Storm Prediction Center for Wacky Weather Wednesday has issued a slight risk of severe weather for those in Ohio, Northwest Pennsylvania, and as well as Eastern Michigan, slight or marginal risk outside of that, excuse me, for those in Michigan, Ohio, Pennsylvania, Northern West Virginia, and as well as Western New York. Main concern today is damaging winds, but there could be an isolated tornado, so make sure you have a tornado action plan in place. This is primarily going to be surrounding Lake Erie, so primarily for those in North Ohio and as well as Western Pennsylvania. That is where that greatest concern right now exists for today. And then heading into tossing trampolines on tall trees Thursday, we have a marginal risk of severe weather for parts of the Ohio Valley and even back through the Midwest, so near Chicago, be monitoring the threat of maybe some isolated severe weather. As of right now, damaging winds again, the main concern with maybe some sporadic hail. There is a low end chance for maybe an isolated tornado. That potential would exist basically again in the same areas today so near Lake Erie so northern Ohio and western Pennsylvania so be monitoring that threat very closely as we go throughout the day tomorrow now here's the timing for today we're going to begin with parts of the northeast and this is really where the severe weather will begin to fire off again very weird setup here it's a little bit strange we're going to have storms going northwest to southeast so it's not your typical west to east or southwest to northeast motion this will be going northwest to southeast this will actually limit the tornado risk just a little bit because of this flow that we're going to have once we go throughout the afternoon by about four o'clock storms are going to be arriving into parts of northwest pennsylvania near erie once we go further into the afternoon closer to the evening hours storms continue to move down to the south and east there is a conditional risk here which we could see storms and we might not see storms today it's going to really depend on a lot of factors but there is a chance for storms here even though the hr model is not showing them there is going to be a chance for maybe an isolated storm or two this afternoon that could produce the threat of some damaging winds and maybe some isolated large hail perhaps a brief tornado into the evening hours by around midnight we'll continue to see storms really on going across parts of northwest pennsylvania flash flood concern could start to arise out of this once we go into the overnight hours storms do continue we'll eventually be watching for some damaging winds or at least some gusty winds overnight into tomorrow morning and eventually going into the afternoon tomorrow more storms continuing across parts of the northeast which again damaging winds being the main concern out of all that activity by the evening hours more storms possible we could see another complex develop so again very active next 48 hours for pennsylvania make sure you're monitoring your weather very closely on the other hand for those back over in parts of like the midwest near the Chicago suburbs and as well as back in like Indiana and Ohio there's a lot more conditional risks here but if the storms end up developing either today or tomorrow this is tomorrow around about five six o'clock if storms are able to develop we could see a couple complexes start to fire off this would be primarily capable of damaging winds with maybe some isolated large hail I wouldn't really foresee a whole lot of a tornado risk out of this activity by the evening hour storms moving through areas like northern Ohio so again a more conditional risk you might see storms you might not we'll keep you posted with any new details here it's going to kind of a 50 50 for you but again stay tuned with max velocity we'll keep you posted with the latest details thanks so much for watching make sure to like button down below and subscribe if you've not already